This video is brought to you by Diamond Pacific Tool Corporation. Diamond Pacific is America's favorite diamond tool, wheel, and lapidary machine manufacturers. For nearly half a century, Diamond Pacific has set the industry standard for diamond lapidary equipment. Join the majority of professional lapidaries and choose Diamond Pacific products such as their Nova Wheels, Pixie, Genie, and Titan Gem Makers, as well as their wide selection of other high-quality lapidary diamond products. Check out Diamond Pacific today and find out why they're considered America's premier diamond lapidary tool manufacturers. True blue opals and gems. I don't know if they're... Oh, I guess it's just in general, it's Spectacular Opal. I thought that the company was called Spectacular Opal. Look at these pineapples. I've never seen so many in one place. Those are opal? Yeah, opal pineapples. They're not really pineapples. Great fossils. Look at that scenic boulder. Oh yeah, look at that. Taos Mountain. Nice pair of earrings up on top, Joe. Yeah, we were just looking at that. Wow, that watery one. I like that. Some bad buckets. <laughs> hey. What do you think, Steve? I'm guessing that one right there is what my prostate would look like if I turned it over. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Quite a bit. You show the card, card the the I showed the card. Good. Some cool Anamuka. I love Andamuka. I've, I never saw high quality crystal Andamuka until I went to hang out with Steed. It's what, um, in Denver, and he wears a ring of high quality. So most of the stuff you see is like sugared. Okay. It's a uh, turn it black, you know? Yeah. Or carbonized. I, I, I try not to use the word sugared. That one's the squirrel. Hmm. There's a carving of an owl right there. So these, food, these folks are right off the highway here at the Red Lion Sweet Sign. They have the food vendors right here. This is, yeah, yeah. You said 115? 150. Oh, 50. That's still a great price. So it's a uh, Yawa Koroi mixed. Yeah. Oh, do you mind if I see that one? That one's fantastic. See? So you might, there's a, there might be a skin there. It's got a nice inner nut cut. So you see, you've got... Yep. Oh, that one's great. That'd make a ring stone easy, make your money back instantly. Yeah. You should be able to get cut double this, double. You make at least uh, twice, probably more. And then sometimes yeah. some of the Yawa Koroid has a skin. So if it, if it faces, then that's bonus. Okay. Because we, we haven't gone and picked. Yeah. Yep. We've just put the, the whole lot in, you know. 
So, I don't know if you saw the video, Stevie. There's a new machine that's being marketed by Smart Opal called um, Ray Foster. Ray Foster. Yeah. That's the boulder machine. It is the easiest way to finish your boulder. I'm so excited about yeah, it. We have one too. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. It makes sense. I mean, you have yeah. such high quality stuff. Yeah. Like, and you lose so little. You can contour no, cars. Because, because the bit is so small and it's uh, vertical. The problem with boulder is that many times the surface is not straight. So to get a good finish on the undulated surfaces, whether it's boulder, yawa or koroi, you need that machine. You need a vertical small bit machine. Yeah, I mean, Americans are so used to just wheels and they're just melting I mean, it all away. You know, cab king is good. That's Pixies the way I, good. I've only worked a couple little yeah. pieces of this, but yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. wheels. And yeah, that's what we normally use too. And, and, and then But go to the Ray Foster when yeah, the surface is way too undulated. When the color is dipping in, up and down, up yeah. and down. I've never seen Opal Hishis. These are fantastic. Yeah, these are Lightning Ridge. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was really ignorant when I walked by the window. I'm like, those are probably smoked Ethiopians. My friend's like, I'm pretty sure those are Australian. Yeah, yeah. That is stunning. Oh, these are great. Thank you so much. Um, he'll probably, Stephen will probably bring some nice wheels if you still want your pad king. If you for your okay. He's got new resin wheels that are awesome. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, he was working on some, wasn't he? Yeah. I'm excited I about that. Some. Are they as good as he was expecting? Yes. Fantastic. So have a look. He's probably got a sample here. Well, Stephen, he'll be at 22nd Street? Yes, yes. I think that, I don't know when that opens. I think Thursday or Friday. We can buy that whole lot over there for five grand. Is that what it says? I think so. No, uh, over there in that Maybe it's older. Three, three grand. Oh, yeah. This, this one. This one. Oh, that one's fine. Yeah, she's doing good now. I know she wants to go and look for bones. <laughs> So are you guys cutting a lot of opal or not really? Uh, I cut a little bit. I, I've been cutting mostly the high quality white Brazilian. Oh yes. I like that, but uh, it's got... It's a bit boring, I think. I, I, you, <laughs> know, cut, you know... It's crystal opal, so the cut... You're, you're right. At best, it looks like an Ethiopian, but it doesn't... It's no, not hydrofin. No, you can tell that it's Brazilian. It's like our Andamuka crystal. It has a, glassy, a glassiness to it that the Ethiopian doesn't. I mean, I'm definitely not cutting the highest quality of the Brazilian, for <laughs> sure. And it's gone up in the last two years. It's, it has, it's been yes. going up and up and up. I was given um, quite a bit of Lightning Ridge. I just haven't took the time. Truthfully, I'm a phosphate guy, turquoise. I live in, in New Mexico, so yeah. that's what pays the bills. Yeah. Yeah, we'll gotta go check out Mr. Smart, see if he has any. I was gonna buy one of his Ray Fosters, but he didn't at the time he didn't have any of the variable speed ones. The fixed speeds work fine too. He's got the variable speed one. Oh fantastic. Ray Foster. No, yes. F-O-R-S-T. Uh, oh. It's a dental machine. That is yeah, super high speed dental lathe. are great. The polish still has to be done on a flat mat. I mean a polish finger, but everything up to that. Near polish.
Yeah, it's a beautiful machine. Uh, they use a vacuum system, and they, the vacuum he suggests is... Yeah, it just sucks the duct. Yeah, because you don't use water. That releases the collet, so you can... Yeah, it, and you don't have to wait for it to come completely to a stop. It's a special thing. Oh, okay, yeah. it's like the dental, that balder dental. Motor. Yeah, because yeah. it also, it's just so fast. In this video that I got with him, he cuts it in maybe 60 seconds. Yeah. It's amazing. It makes sense that you folks are using one because of the quality that you have. It's just so amazing. He cuts so much. He cuts every little bit. I mean, you know, the, the, the off cuts that we get will just put it in rough and put it in parcels. But Stephen and Evelyn, they cut everything. The ten dollar stone to the ten thousand dollar stone. So he cuts a lot, and he needs to find a way to process it super quick. Yeah. So. How are the uh, the beads? The beads pressed in those two trays. Uh, the back ones. Yes. Exactly. I think they're like four hundred to eighteen hundred, something like that. Yeah, they're lightning rage. I'm happy we stopped in here. I've never been in here. I've been so intimidated to come into these places in the past, honestly. These andamukas, yeah, these are really nice. I wonder how oh, much yeah, these are. The stuff that they bake, they cook in sugar or something like that. I think so. I think sugar's still the way. There might be another process. Sometimes you have to re-sugar it after you cut it. Yep. But the ones I've cut, I haven't had to. And the similar prices for that next year? Uh, these ones are a bit cheaper because they've got the white, I mean, they've got the crystal mixed in. Are you looking for balance? Oh, no, just curious. I, I like all of them. Oh, okay. Say 1500. Mm -hmm. And that's Australian? Yeah. Is everything here Australian? Yeah. Very good, thanks. Yeah, it's stunning. Look at the prices on these. Fantastic. This one's 20. Oh, okay. Well, good luck. I'm going to be handing over a little bit of money. Even though I want to sell some money. I beg your pardon? Oh, I think I'm going to be handing over a little bit of money. 100 a kilo, so. It's not bad. 100 no, a kilo? No, that seems stupid cheap. That is fantastic. Who's this? Stop it. Is it this material here? The crystal? I don't know. This, no, that's this? different. Oh, okay. That's bold up. You see any good ones in there? So it's got the, the brown, the yeah. uh, oh. This one's going to be heavy, but that it's one got something going on right there. Right there. I mean, it's not a five thousand dollar a kilo yeah, material. Yeah, we looked at the good stuff on that one yeah, back over here. It makes it tough. But. Oh wow! Look at this. This is perfect for the Ray Foster right here. Oh yep. <laughs> Four hundred. You window polish that, you'll make four times your money back. Now, a lot of people back in the day, they would use Diamond Pacific Nova points, or you could probably use um, Diashine. <laughs> this one's 120. You took that to, you would not want to take this to the wheel. It takes a specialty polisher. I live in New Mexico, but I'm originally from New York. Yeah. Culture shock. <laughs> you think you're going to get one? Or some? 
Yeah, I think so. Heck yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Not trying to cramp your style, but <laughs> this one is 80. And uh do you ever go to the Saint Marie in France? Saint Marie show? That's a great one too. It's like in a village. It's pretty so, awesome. Is no, I, I want to go. When, when is it? It's June? No, okay, October. October. Oh, oh no, no, you're right. It's <laughs> it's one. Munich in June, in October? Uh, Munich. It's in June. Maybe I'm going to go there. Probably why, you're right. I haven't been both at the same time. Do you do those shows as well? No. I don't do we don't do any shows in the I think I have to take her out. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, see you again. Some clams in there. Howdy. I think so. I know this is. You gotta check if these folks out. Oh, they're pretty great. Do you think you're gonna cut them, Stevie? Yeah, we'll see. I'm so infamous for just grinding it all right away. Don't go chasing the color in Yeah, yeah see, I, I'm because just. Because remember, you have to have more discipline. Because this is open in matrix. Yeah, I. I'm such a beginner on that when it comes to focal movement. I, I mean, luckily I've never worked with really good material, so I... Yeah, but don't use a higher grade, you know? I, don't, yeah. don't do your 68. <laughs> yeah. Don't rush the process. Yeah. Fantastic. Make it for my dog. Yeah. 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 Y
Thank you so much yeah. for your kindness. I really oh, appreciate it. Yeah, okay. My sale paid for one of your coffees this yes. morning. <laughs> you know what? Every little bit counts. People don't get that, you know? But we appreciate all of it. The finish is spectacular. Like mastered it. And won the lottery. And won the lottery. Me too. So true blue at the Red Lion. Make sure to check them out. Where did he make Uh Taos. Uh, a little bit north of Santa Fe. Oh, so cold though. So we used to do Denver for many years. And on the way back, we have to we used to take a U-Haul from here because we had big specimens then. We did a lot of them. We drive it up, we do the 14 hours and drive it up to Denver, do the Best Western show. And then on the way back, take that truck all the way to Taos. Oh, nice. Hang out there for the weekend and then come back. Okay. That's, it's a good time. It's not freezing no. like it is right now. The weather is good. You are disgusting. Ugh, you're actually reaching into a dirty bag. And he put his mouth on it. I didn't get that. No fortune cookie left on <laughs> God, you are filthy. Don't give me diseases. Your future looks bright. <laughs> it's plain and simple. It doesn't get any simpler than that, huh? All right. Eat the fortune. I don't, I never eat the cookie. Eat the paper. No, <laughs> I, I would do that. But. Chilean turquoise, $70 a pound, can't beat it. Uh, not the most desirable color. Fun matrix though, I'm getting the dirty ones. $70 a pound, I mean, you can't beat it. Almost looks like Sonoran. What were you gonna say, brother? Oh no, I was wondering if it was written down as kilos or pounds on those bags. Uh, 150 a kilo, so. Yeah. Give or take 70 bucks a pound. Try to get some Stuff that's not too thin. I used to really work with a lot of flats, but not so much anymore. I guess they don't come too big, or at least if they don't have them too big. But the stabilization is really good. It's like you could see some spots there of like where their little crumbs were stuck, but for the most part, it's uh, not so bad. There was one bad one we saw in this bucket. Oh, yeah, the guabulation. All right, Dave, I'm heading back to my room. See you soon, Jim. Thank you so much. This is probably a half pound in my hand right here. And cut it, dollar a carrot. You know, it's not, the Chilean stuff's common, but it's not like oversaturated. It smells like A lot of the Mexican turquoise I smell it smells like turmeric. Which is trippy, huh? Mm -hmm. There's probably some treasure pieces in this in these buckets. They're just like buried, you know. Yep. It's probably a half pound out there for seventy. Seventy bucks. I'm gonna try to find a bigger bag. Sure. How long you been working for these folks, bro? Huh? How long you been working for these folks? It's a killer company to work for. About seven months, seven months. Heck yeah. Dude, it's a good, I mean, these guys are pretty awesome. Yeah. 
Oh. Actually opening up a location for year round sales in here in Tucson. Really? Yeah. That's going to be great. Do you live here in Tucson? Yeah, I'm a Tucson native. Awesome. You lick it, you buy it, right, Stevie? You know it. Leave your DNA. I'm surprised um, someone hasn't just bought the buckets and took about 140 a pound. Don't tempt them. <laughs> A little too thin, but good color. Looking for the dirt. The dirt's what I want. I remember when Chilean turquoise came out, everyone was skeptical if it was turquoise in the unstabilized form. Oh, not Chilean, Peruvian. I think a lot of people still don't know if the Peruvian really is turquoise or not. Can you show this banner here, Chili Rough? That's uh, the people here at the Pueblo show. I think this, this isn't Pueblo, this is uh, East Control River Park. Time for, you know, leave or vacation. Yeah, lots of Pisacola, some lower end. Where are the pounds? I mean, oh, I guess we're not on. Yeah, the proprietor. Maybe it timed out or something. Come with it. Yeah, come with it. Huh? Yeah, yeah, come to this. Yeah. Are we at, is this, hey, no. okay, he's busy. 200 bucks, is that right? Is that what I'm looking at? Yeah, that's right. right. No life here. Okay. Is that retail or wholesale? I think it's like. Pardon me? You looking for that one? Yeah, that'll, that'll work. Um, that, could you I'll, check I'll, this for I'll me? I'll wrap it a little bit. So okay, that'd be great. Doesn't scratch or anything. Mm. Yeah. I'll put this thing inside of this. Uh, Perfect. Do so you know how much it weighs right now? Just get a little piece of color. Right now. The back thing weird now. Uh, let me see. And this will do for now. I got some of that phosphocitrate. What's that pink stuff? Phosphocitrate. I have some. It needs this. I got it from them last year. It needs to be stabilized. Um, but it's not, it's one of those materials that you could get from a, like a mass production cat company for like four or five bucks a piece. And the problem is, even though it has some cool webbing with like like turquoise can, a lot of it's just solid purple, solid pinkish purple. That whatever. What would you lilac? What would you? Lilac is good. Yeah. Uh, and um, you want the ones with the webs, so it looks like a phosphate. Yeah. But um, what, what's really neat is, so the theory behind its color is that it was naturally heat treated from Earth that turned it that color. And I have some friends out of, I think Oklahoma or something, that they're big um, rock people and they're working on heat treating phosphates like varicite. And they're able to get it to turn purple and pink, but it always gets destroyed. But they're getting close. And so in the future... Glamour? No, that's Glamour? Yeah. Uh, no, what was that? Uh, the blue and white? It's 456 grams. So it's a pound-ish. What is a pound? 453? We can look it up. Yeah. No, just... or, I mean, could you look it up for me? I'm sorry to bother yeah, no you. Worries. Forty-five kilos is one pound. So yeah, it's a pound. Cool, I'll take it. 
off. Yeah, I grabbed it. Yep. And I also got it. Nice. So I one pound, sixty-eight dollars and forty cents. The uh, didn't worry about the forty cents, obviously. And not bad. We'll see how it cuts. There's no way we can't make our money back. So, back at Pueblo. No, this is um, Red Lion. Red Lion. Uh, we came to see if my friend Khalid was open. He's going to be open. He's uh, the Congolese ethical importer. <clears throat> and I saw this. This gentleman had some of the super hot cobalto calcite. Definitely the hottest cutting rough in quartzite. And most people wouldn't even consider this cutting rough. When I first heard that they were cutting calcite, I was super skeptical because it's just... It blows out, you know what I mean? It pops out, it chips out, but this stuff cuts super well. This is super good quality. He wants 4000 for everything, obviously. Money walks, so... Uh, you know, cash is king. But uh, these are good. But these are really what you want for slabbing. I'll put a picture up here, or a video of what McKay has been cutting. I've been cutting some myself. He's been selling it for two or 250 a gram, which is $900 a pound. I think this piece is 15. These are three, um, well over a pound. So under a dollar, a, well over a pound. So under a dollar a gram, not bad. And I've never seen it. The gentleman said, who's from Morocco, he's, um, you want to, can you say hi to the folks at home? <laughs> he's a handsome man. <laughs> um, he says he's been seeing it for 35 years, but there was a three-year stint where it just wasn't around. So it's a cool reset for the material. I've never noticed it. Maybe I've seen it and I just haven't paid attention. But um, really great cutter, believe it or not. You can tell by the video that I'm putting over this that it cuts extremely well. That one will get you the bacon you want. It looks like the best road across that you've ever seen in your life when it's cut. Oh, thanks, brother. This one is a great cutter, too. And so if you cut it thin? You wouldn't really... Not too thin, oh. because it is calcite at the end of the day. Maybe uh, uh, right. 8 mil, 7 mil. Get a nice cabochon. Um, high to look through it. You don't well, yeah. It. Uh, it does have great translucency, but... Like, you can have a closed back on it. Okay. Four grand for all of them. Some of these you wouldn't... This is also the cobalto calcite. You wouldn't cut that. But... And as far as I know, the Congolese cobalto calcite, um, which is more of like a druzy, mm. isn't really oh, the high-quality cutting yeah, like this is. It's now, just the crust on Yeah, there. and people do make cabs of it. It's so brilliantly nuclear pink, you know? Yeah. Um, the lower grade Congolese is like a super stable pink look. It almost looks like howlite. It looks dyed because it's the color so neon, it's so electric. And that does cut. That's like $10 a pound. But this is something very 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 special and I i'm like super excited to see it yeah i it's almost a shame that like to get the slabs you'd have to lose it mm -hmm. but i'm excited to see it i was hoping to see some in tucson i was thinking if if one person had it a moroccan vendor in quartzite maybe mm -hmm. everybody but the gentleman says he, i think he says he only knows three people will make a hell of a doorstop <laughs> <laughs> it's great awesome i'm definitely going to come back i'm going to bring him a cabochon so we can show folks uh maybe talk about cutting for a piece but uh yeah really exciting show this juicy fruit stuff Yeah, that sounds good. So it's gummy, huh? Yeah, I feel like if the light was shining on it just right. 5,000 milligrams? CBDBs? Is that what's in there? <laughs> I mean, th this is the same? Well, what's going on here? This one looks like chemotype to me. But the purplish stuff, I don't know. 
Yeah. I like them. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. See you soon. Here's some cool lower quality Sujis. Ooh, look at this one. I think I bought some from him years and years and years ago. Yeah, but how much are you buying to get that strip, you know? Yep. I mean, some people like the Rick Dry and the other stuff in there. It's, it's cute, but can you even sell it as usually when it's just that people do? I've never seen cabs of just the Richterite and stuff and the other the manganese not being sold as sewage if it even, you know. But maybe it wouldn't be cabs, it would be some other... No, they sell just cabs of it, and they'll sell. They'll be in a bin of sudralite. And if it was thinly sliced, and it just had the sudralite on one side, but the uh, whole thing was pretty. Hey, Ooh, hey, how you doing, doing, brother? How are you? Doing good. Good to see you. Hey, how are you? Howdy. you doing? All right. Just yeah. chilling, checking out the sudralite. Uh, yeah, nice. Where are you? Where's your yeah. booth? Peru. Heck yeah. It's Peru. Your we're going to be right in the corner there. We're just setting up right now. Are you done so, setting up? No. We're I'll gonna... come back tomorrow or the next day. Okay. And yeah, if you don't mind, I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. make a video. Yeah, yeah we're going to have a Rodoker site. Oh, fantastic. Peru. Oh, nice. Well, I, love, I love the Peruvian Roto. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, brother, how much is the Suj? Uh, this is uh, a lot price. It's 500 per kilo. Fantastic. That's not bad at all. Jose, yeah. Jose. It's under 250 a pound. Oh, wow. Is it um? You are you only yeah, doing kilos? Like, Can you yes. do okay? So <laughs> See, this is what he does. Yeah, that's gorgeous material. Fantastic. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna have. Nice. Yeah, so. so if I was picking out a kilo. Oh yeah. All right. So definitely, brother. See you soon, brother. See you soon, Jose. Five hundred a kilo. Not bad. Very pretty stuff. Here's some of the blue. Is the blue the Richter A? Yep. Now, if, if this is on this side, does that mean it's going to occur inside too? Not always. You can see, look on the side. But for five hundred dollars, like a kilo, that's fantastic. That's fifty cents a gram. This is a great one. Just enough purple mm. to feel good. Can you weigh this one for me? Those are biggies. I think that one I had in was probably the best of the batch. Nice, 299, a little bit under half a kilo. Two nine nine divided by two. Uh, basically one fifty. Oh uh, no, this five hundred is for these two buckets. These are uh, two dollars gram. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, so that's seven hundred ish. Two six. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. Sorry, my my yeah. brain's not. Working right now. Uh, that eight, makes sense. Eight ninety-seven, but yeah. <laughs> and these ones are also three gram. Uh, this one two gram. Thank you, brother. I'm like thinking in my head, you're showing that to the wrong guy. 
<laughs> when uh, my first gem show had spread, I was so obsessed with this stuff. That's pretty. This piece is special. I bought a big five kilo bag of it that was amongst Amazonite for $45. Uh -huh. Which is really good for this stuff. It, it gets super electric blue. This is... A little so, bit more common call. No, they think they call this Peruvian turquoise, or it's a, like a chrysocolla, you know. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hello. How much is the uh, opal, the blue? Three zero. Three hundred a kilo. Not bad. Twenty five. Nice. Wait, three hundred or thirty? Three zero. Three zero. Thirty a kilo. 30 a kilo. Oh, that's fantastic. It's way better than I thought it was. Oh. This is probably under a pound right here. Or just over, maybe. This is probably a kilo, close to it. No, more than that. Yeah, yeah maybe a little bit more. It's relatively light, but still, it's. I mean, if you can't get $30 off of cutting this face right there, you sh you're in the wrong industry. In the pink, same price? Uh, uh, 20. Oh, nice. Sometimes this comes in like really thin sheets. I like the face. White or white. Oh, nice. Is it Peruvian? Yes. Um, see. Oh, wow. I've never seen Peruvian white. White. Cool play, almost plumy. Think it's gonna rain today, Stevie? Ah, uh, kind of feels like it. <laughs> How many kilos do you want? Uh, not sure yet. Just still getting started. But I've, I've never seen this before. Almost scenic. It's fantastic. Fifteen. Fifteen a kilo. Oh, it's great. Is that saw in the back yard? Is that a ten inch? Yeah. Oh, awesome. And it's running, right? Yeah, I just have water and it should have oil. Yeah, I, I, I'd use water. Well, now we know we can cut it. Yes, two five seen <laughs> What are you doing over there, Spraley? Um, Rene, our, yeah, Renee's brother, Craig. What do you think, Dusty? You like it? Yep. I love this. The, it's totally a great pattern. How much is the sutra? Fifteen hundred a kilo. One five. Fifteen hundred a kilo, so a dollar fifty a gram, I think. Yep. The patterns are great. It looks like it'll just slab like nobody's business. This one's even cool. It has a band through the middle. How heavy do you think this is? <laughs> <laughs> I 
So hundred dollar bill? Sure. <laughs> no, no, no. So probably four kilos, five kilos. Oh, at least. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, kilos. Yeah, not pounds. Here's some smaller pieces. Definitely broken off. These are kind of gummy. And how much has this been right here? Five dollars a gram. Five dollars a gram. It's five thousand a kilo. Gatsby, I correct? Yeah, Australian. I sure Gatsby from Australia. Yeah. This is great, actually. But I like I like that what the Victor Eight splot is. Ooh. It's fun. Look, these are like gummy. It is iron. Do or something? <laughs> no, it's it's the smell of Crystal Cola. I tell people you got to get used to that smell. If it, it's you know, that's a, that's a sense that a lot of people don't use in identification. I've never smelled a piece of turquoise that has that smell. It's almost like sweet and fruity. Almost. It's hard to explain. But uh, I could smell it in finished cabotrons. It's raining right now, so this, this box is just reeking. Yeah. <laughs> Sprites back over at the gentleman with the xylophone buying some crystals. He's on one recently. He's been buying a lot. This is uh, pseudo tectite, I believe. If these are Indonesian, if it might be Chinese, but if it's Indonesian, they call it divine pearl of fire. It's similar to the saffrodites. Saffrodites are the most desirable ones. Some people think it's the Chinamani stones. Uh -huh. But the Divine Pearls of Fires actually look a little bit different. Are you into Chinamani stones? Spray I like? remember that from uh, something, but is it like, um, is it Asian or South American? Indonesian? Indonesian. Wow, so the little Some people say it's a real tectite, some people say it's a pseudo tectite. something on it? Too big, too small. Yeah, yeah. The poor man's Moldavite. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Good man. I forgot to bring the Geiger counter again. I see uh, low-grade rubies all the time, but definitely less of the low-grade sapphire. Looks like 50 cents a gram. Oh, I thought it was 50 cents a pound. Yeah, that's a little high. This stuff is so incredibly heavy. You can even see the crystal shape on there. But sometimes you see out of India, like these big, uh, facets. Five a pound. This is came out exactly at half a pound. Oh, <laughs> two, cool. Two couple bucks. Here. That's great. Let's get some. I mean, do you want to try a bigger piece? Yeah, definitely. We'll get a nice slab out of it and just look for the matrix. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes you see like giant facets of the stuff from India and people are like, that can't be emerald, ruby, or sapphire. Well, that's that stuff, you know. 
Stevie spotted this phosphosiderite over here. This is a lot different than the Brazilian stuff I got, I think. It's super stable and it has the webbing that you really want in phosphosiderite. Otherwise, it's just pink and it kind of looks a little fake. That or this? Or I like that so one. Yeah, I agree. How much? Five a pound? Five a pound, yeah. So. Yeah, we're here at El Paso Rock Shop. It's Super Mario's booth. There's a super pink one. Oh, oh that's a... That's something else stuck in there. <laughs> Shoot, the one? Oh. That's gonna be all Maybe we'll just get that. Yeah. I just, this one's pretty decent. That looks like a good one. That one? A lighter one, but rusty. And yeah. Good webs. Yeah, that one's a keeper. Not bad. I always remember him as having a bunch of catlinite for sale, the Minnesota Pipestone, and the Galena, just big wads of mineralized lead. Thing. That one, that you, you said that you got some. No, but they sell it and it was super cheap. Yeah, that's good. I think all of his stuff is like super affordable. But he's always got like, you never know what he's going to have. Yeah. I have no idea what those are. Rose quartz, some geodes, unikite, that stuff's just all over the place in New Mexico. Some lower quality bumblebee. Bucket of kyanite. Some peanut obsidian. Some decent looking yttrium. Not the best, but definitely decent. Probably one of the most stable cutting fluorites out there. It does fade in the sun though. Slightly better, I guess you could say, bumblebee. Not really the best. Pink Peruvian opal. Now this is cool. It's a Mexican parrot wing. That is nice. Hiding amongst some. Bloodstone, some green jaspers. Some peridot. It's rutile, I'm assuming. Oh yeah. Royal Imperial Jasper. Royal Imperial. Lion's Paw Oyster Show. And 
the fist. Some sodalite next to some lapis. And these are look like fire agates. Yeah, they're Aguas Calientes fire agates. Like low grade rough. It's got a little thing right there. Mapa flower? Bunch of rocks. Yes, they are. Lapis is nice. Or is that soda light? It's lapis next to soda light. Mixed. Amongst the same. Yeah, um. This is nice. It's not American. It's right. Brazilian, right? Oh, maybe. Yeah. I was thinking African. Maybe Madagascar or something. Who knows? What is this style? No, Peridot. Peridot. Just some cheap Peridot. Yeah, I wonder what it would get. Done? Nothing. What's up with that big turquoise looking? Amazonite. Oh, uh, is it? There's a video, one of the first Tucson videos I've ever saw. A lady sold a bunch of this to some lady who bought it. She bought it, saying it was high grade Epido or whatever. And the lady comes back and like embarrasses the hippie who sold it, leaving it there. And like, sure. I left like a 5,000 word essay of like how it's super rude what she did to embarrass these poor hippies who were just trying to make money reselling stuff. I mean, <clears throat> you know, you do expect some ethics when it comes to people talking about what it is. But at the end of the day, it is your responsibility to know quality. It does. It's not hard to look up what good epido is, and it's definitely not expensive. Epido or Peridot? No, Peridot, Sorry. And what is the host here? basalt, I think. And so I thought what the lady did was really bad and and rude to go. Embarrass this poor hippie just trying to make some money reselling rocks. No, I doubt that. I know the lady doesn't make videos, and if she does, nothing really worth watching. Uh, this is Moroccan seam. What's this one? Serpentine? Yeah, it's a serpentine. Unicite. Unicite. Named after the Unica Mountains, right? Or is it Unit? Unicite. Unicite. I always called it Unicite, but I really don't know. Are these uh, Durango fluorites? Calcite? Yeah, I don't know. A lot of people do, but we're doing it, man. <laughs> They're not making a product. I don't know. Some guy walked out of here with a giant selenite earlier. Probably a dollar or less a pound. A big Brazilian emerald over here. No, nah, just some more ore, copper ore. How much did you get, Stevie? I'm not sure if this was you know, I think this is How much did you get? Uh, eight pounds. Nice. $5 a pound, 40 bucks. Can't yep. go wrong. It's good stuff. Pink phosphate with brown webs. 
Yeah, that was a really webby piece. <laughs> Most of it that I see is just like pure pink, so it's kind of boring. Yeah. No, this is definitely. And most of it has to be stabilized where that seems pretty rock hard. It was different qualities in there, but... Oh, you already looked. Yeah, it was pretty cool. The gym shop gallery here at the Tucson Showplace. So many goodies. Last year over here they had some awesome polyhedrons. Oh, they're, they're over here. Yeah, down here. These are so cool. Oh, yeah, I love that. Those are fun. Did you see the ones up top? No. Yeah. Oh, those are cute. Thirty for the pair. I love that they they're so affordable. But also, then they're not busting up a lot of pairs. A lot of people would sell them individually. Yeah, those are good. I've been here since January 7th. Oh, really? We came early because we didn't want to. I can't remember what the prices are. Like, this one is 30 for, for the pair. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm happy. A lot of people would just sell them individually. They shouldn't be split up with their family. Loving the dirty ones. Wow, this one is forty-five. I think it is. Yeah. It Will you fits. close it and open it for me? Yeah. You did. Yes. Have you heard that story about Steve yeah. in the boat? No. It is yeah, no. incredible. Straight up capsizing. Going down. Where? Nothing left. In like the middle of the ocean in Morocco. Oh my god. I don't want to spoil it. I'm going to have to have him tell you. It is intense. Wow. Look at these oceans, nice older OJs. There was an Ethiopian guy named Johannes that I met here a few times. I think he's gone now, but he was the sole survivor of the big boat going down. Oh, that's trauma, man. So, three hours of May Day. The only person who was willing to come to the rescue, which it should be against the law, you have to go, is um, an East Indian boat, I think. And they said, it's going to be hours. We can't just turn around. It's a gigantic... They cost them hundreds of thousands of dollars to turn around. Yeah. But they did. Wow. They can't just send somebody in a little It was in the middle of nowhere, dude. But I would think that the big boats... That's probably no. They climbed a wooden ladder up the ship. Not enough life jackets for everybody. I don't want to spoil it. We'll have Steve wow, tell the story. Dude. You should do a video on that. I don't know if. I mean, he tells everybody he's super thankful. I'd say so. <laughs> Are you being a good girl? No, no, don't get wired. Settle down. You're itchy? Okay. That's good. I don't think you want to follow. I think I would begin to struggle too. What do you call this? You know, I could have probably done a couple days, but then I would. It's turquoise. Oh, I know that. Yeah. It's awesome is what it is. What's the back? Say, does it have a price? That's a great price. It's, it's 
Just I mean, like I have no idea, but it's... it's like, I don't know. You don't know. Is it Chinese? Yeah, exactly. Well, the, the white ones are Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> they, this lavender one, they call, like, um, Blue Moon or something. This is neat. Blue well, River. How much were they charging... How much is the tax on parking now on everything? Is it 10%? Well, it's 10%. In courts, I, yeah, 10% tax. 20% for Indians. Or some crazy thing. It was, no, I don't. Yeah. Because they went through the Indian Act. Yeah. And it's like, no, we're not going to do that. Too bad we started eating on it. We gave it back. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, Just that polish. Know, it's it's world class. There's three for four people yep. that get this. Oh, is that right? It uses specialty machine, silicon carbide, no water, oh. twice the speed of a lapidary machine. Hmm. I'll cut you to the bone if you mess up. Um, on the Richardson Ranch you know and, and uh, Bull Wheel page on Facebook, mm -hmm. used to, a couple of years ago, every like three posts uh, uh, yeah. was somebody's uh, uh, wound. Morrisonite. Uh, uh, it was it was two hundred cams of some great plumes. Like straight out of a of a picture book. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it wasn't according to Eugene. We took it to Eugene there, and um, and one, it wasn't material he he mined. It was material that must have been earlier than that. And it looks like it. It looks like it's from the. 40s, 50s, 60s, or something. It looks like a, a, a <laughs> Dave says a, a, a second place county fair exhibit. Oh, that's a yeah. so, so not much quality. So yeah, I mean, it, it's not bad by all means. It's, I, th just it's I think it's pretty highest. spectacular. The display but it's, looks like it was from the 4H. So the, so they they should have cleaned it up and it would look a whole lot yeah, better. Yeah, I said yeah. put it on some black velvet uh, and then instead of white poster board. Yeah, it was like 200 cabs or 205 cabs and then four smaller slabs. A friend of mine bid six fifty on it and was really upset he didn't get it. So somebody will, somebody wants it out there. There, there it is. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So he bid six fifty. Mm-hmm. So and you got it or you didn't buy it? Yeah, I, I got it. Oh, at it's a good pirate. So, you know, it, it was it was figuring they've got to be worth six eight bucks a cab so yep. at, at that many small cabs it was a safe bet now i don't know what i'm going to do with it With two chambers, and they're pretty good. Color. Yep. This is a pair. Oh, wow. Good to see you. Good to see you. I don't want to have her jump around all this stuff. Come on, let's go. 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 Let's go.
You were smart leaving uh, Wisconsin as early as you did. I got to go through Iowa. With the, the snow had come through Iowa, and I think at that actually at that point it was probably hitting. It was even probably past you know southern uh, uh, Wisconsin and Chicago. I was coming from the Twin Cities, though. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, it was, but it was forty mile an hour winds, blowing snow, fourteen below, all the way through Iowa into Missouri. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're in the middle of night, but no less. It was not fun driving. Hey, Steve, did you see the Morris night over here? Yep. Uh, Thank you. When you come over to the house, you'll see Steve bought a vintage display of it. That. Oh, yeah. So what, how'd that turn out? Uh, Is it everything you was hoping for? Uh, we're not even sure. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of people on YouTube who reached out who want to buy it. A couple people want it created to have it as the folk art. A couple people are like, take that sucker apart and just mail me the yeah. cabs. I was, when I, was, I watched that video and I was watching you guys mess with it and, I, and my wife was watching it and she's in Man, you'd have every one of them plucked off there by now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought about it. I took it apart enough because the back would come on, so it was removed from the glass. And... Uh, I'd have plucked every one of them off of there. But then we got to talking about it, and and here's, you know, from a layman's perspective. Yeah, I, I don't know the material. Well, I, you, you know far more about any than I do, but, but here's, the, here's, here's, the, here's my take on it, right? When you start looking at that individually, right, the color difference and everything between them is so vast mm -hmm. that the, what makes it cool is the fact that they're all together, right? Yeah. Because any one of those individual cabs, you're like, oh, no, it's, it's pretty, it's blue. Yeah. It could you know look, what I mean? It, yeah. Oh, that's that's a pretty red. Oh, that's pretty green. There's no way that you're going to get somebody to understand that so this is all the same stuff, same right? Material. So it's Bruno. what makes it so cool is the fact that they're all together, yeah. right? which I hate that about it because it's like, I mean, we, we all know, right? Body quantity, yeah, 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 right? Exactly. Yeah, but but um, there's only so many people that are going to want to buy 200 caps. There's a lot of people so, that would buy two or three. So I think, I think if you were a or somebody that just wants a, a specimen trick. Yeah, yeah, and I make, make a nice. Thing yeah, we made a video of it, and about five or six people reached out who wanted us to create it. Less people wanted us to just take the paper apart. And I think it's cool. Did he show you a picture of it by chance? Yes. These are Royal Imperial. I don't know, it's not quite as cool as it was, you know, because what this was cool. This could be bloodstone, this right. could be rose quartz, exactly. or whatever. Exactly, exactly. Right. Because what's so cool about it is the fact that there was that contrast, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, you take this stone, you take that stone, I'm going to keep completely with the deal. And, you know, when you mix it together, you're like, wow, that's so cool, because the variation is what makes it cool. Yep. But then either one of them by themselves is like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I got a pile when I come over there. I got a pile of this type of stuff in big ups. I got a bunch of it. And I want a bunch of this. Yeah, that sounds a little bit like me. I've got piles of rocks and I bought a whole mix. Yes. Does that Oh wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Very cool. And this is Wave Light from Arkansas. <laughs> So some really nice cabochons of this in Tucson. Cloudy like this. Really like the wave light. Kind of looks like Pranite. I'm not sure what these are. Very, very nice piece of Chihuahua here. Cool, unique. I think that's a, that's a thunder egg, but I think it's from Idaho or... <coughs> Which piece is it? The spider webby one? Yeah. It's awesome. It is fantastic. The price is crazy. I got a, Damn, uh, that's the one I, I bought a, too. three large collections this year, and I had some some promising material come out of one of them, and it was a bunch of turquoise and a bunch of turquoise rough and varicite rough, and all of these caps came out. Awesomeness. Do you, um, so that's a retail price at five dollars a gram. Okay. And then it's the, a dollar a carat. That's I, I get that for stabilized Kingman all day long. Like not even close to that quality. That is so great. And the polyhedrals. That's all the ones that you have. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, I'd love to find some that have. Yeah, me three. Oh, oh Marshall was thinking all of them. And, and I think there's one there or something. There's a little bit. There's one on Oreo. I don't really, I don't think I have that. You know, if, if you want to do that. Or Gary and Beth coming through. Or, no. Yep, yep. I don't really remember. Give me two minutes, Marshall. Look up and see where all the. It's a cool pseudo morph. Pink. Well, well, we'll, we'll see don't know what, what it is. I don't think it's a Cuadamino. Lots of cabs of the same material you saw there. Really nicely done. I wonder who's doing the cutting. Is it Priscilla's Purple Passion? Yes. 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 I kind of screwed up, but it doesn't want if you choose it, so it's yeah. a different price. And, but I didn't realize until we got all through it. But I mean, you're, you're fair. I mean, I'm not going to argue with you. Well, I don't usually see you, you sell out of that stuff. I'm used to seeing that. I probably have 10, 15 pails. Oh, wonderful. For that little Susie. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember either. But I mean, it was pretty affordable. Whatever yeah, it was. yeah. I mean, it was so much of This is a great right. one. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I don't even remember. Are you going to be over in Denver again? Yes. Are you said that you're not? No, 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 no. 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 Then, you, then you'll be in Denver. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, uh, I don't write. Oh, wow. Fun. <laughs> 
What in the heck is this? Oh, it's a doublet. That's brilliant. It's a Turkish stick agate, but they made a doublet with tulite. Oh, wow. It's a pretty smart idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's turquoise from China. They call it like white, like dark moon or something. It's, but it's from uh, the Hubei province. It's really cool. It looks like a varicite if it was. Yeah. Sometimes, so like that blue. There's a stuff they call Iron Maiden. Mm -hmm. It's an Odyssey claim. And they call it, it's a Hatsunite, not technically mm -hmm. turquoise. So I don't know if that's a Hatsunite, but Hatsunite is so prized in turquoise like family, like gas pits, yeah. not a phosphate, but turquoise people love it. So if it's not a turquoise and it's a Hatsunite, nobody cares. It's just as loved, if not better. Oh, yeah, you should. You definitely should. Especially since hot tonight, I bought a piece this big for $75, and it doesn't look good. It doesn't look half that good. So I think that would be really hot. I am obsessed with these. That is brilliant. That is fantastic, brother. The tool I doublet. You can't just use any tool light though. This is some decent stuff, and you gotta, you got a good friend. You got a good connect. <laughs> yeah, my sister is doing these. Does she do the cutting? Yeah. Wow. I honestly thought maybe Mr. Armando cut them for you or someone else because they're so consistent. The girdle is perfect. The polish is immaculate. She's been, you know, she used to she used to work for the shop, work for the shop for twenty years, and then decided to retire, but she kept her. Kevin, she started her own little Kevin business. Wow. And uh, her, her, been doing a lot of for us her quality so is. Busy with other stuff, so. I would have never have guessed this was done by an American. Just because of the qu the qu quantity you have, she must be really good at what she does. Yeah, she's probably done most of these. And uh, this it's Turkish, right? The the ad. Yeah, that right. It's our yeah, Turkish stick egg. Okay. No. Dang. And we'll see at Benny's at six. Or that's brilliant. Okay. We'll see you there at six. Then. Yeah, I've never. Thank you. Get to Sabino after. I have trouble backing things with color, so the most of the backing that I've done has always been either black or white. Mm -hmm. I wonder what the adhesive is. <laughs> oh, he's use, um, I think he's using the same thing. <laughs> we use, uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, there's only, f I've had this research, there's only four kinds of epoxy. And the one that um, takes the longest time to set is the one they use for Hextall and Nubon and those those fine epoxies. That's what we use. Oh, fantastic. Either one of those. <clears throat> I've had such bad luck with Walmart epoxies I gave up on and started using CA. So I'll definitely give that a shot with the higher end stuff. So. Yeah. It takes, you know, 24 or 48 hours for it to dry completely. Mm -hmm. Do you know what resin is used to make the resin diamond wheels, polishing wheels? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. I've always wondered, and I've, I've spent a lot of time searching and can't come up with anybody's secret formula. Nobody, you know, says whether it's a polyester, an epoxy, a... Uh, uh, Check this out, folks. This is cool. They bought uh, three vintage collections of Chinese turquoise, believe it or not. These are turquoise. If it's not, then it's probably a Hatsunite, which is like um, Gold Hills. Not Gold Hills, um, uh, Iron Maiden. Some people think that Gold Hills might be a hot tonight, but I guess the Russian gentleman who did an analysis says that it's more pure than a lot of American. 
this is obviously bamboo mountain or a cloud where these i think i hear they're called dark moon or black moon sometimes even though you know as a phosphate i really appreciate these everybody and their mama is going to think that's white buffalo or something this one's fantastic a dollar a carat and the hard thing is even if you got the rough, the stabilization really isn't that good often um, on vintage turquoise like this. So you might not even be able to cut it. These are obviously cut all by the same person or the same group of people at the same time. It doesn't look too finely finished, but it is nicely polished, if that makes any sense. Back in the day, this could have been 50 cents a gram nowadays a dollar a carat is a great price for these this is a 500 dollar cab right there one hundred dollars for that is an amazing price goodness Super tight webs there. I haven't seen this vintage of Chinese anywhere in Tucson yet. It's out there, but I just haven't seen it. Where this, this is fantastic. This is what people think of when they think of turquoise, but I think this is probably one of the most boring pieces in here. It's this stuff right here. Um, if anybody's interested in this stuff and you don't feel like going to the gem shop or you want to see some different variety, check out Turquoise Obsessions on Instagram. Uh, Miss Sandra is pretty damn amazing with her sourcing. That's huge. Yeah, this looks just as good as Gold Hills to me. The girdles are a little rounded, but that's cool. These are cut by hand. These aren't like tumble polished. some smaller ones. I wonder how hard these ones have been hit already, even though most of the shows haven't even started yet. There are some that are a little bit lavendery, like the Gold Hills. Dollar a carat, eight bucks. Jeez, fantastic. A lot of you folks at home have probably never even seen turquoise this color before. I've cut some uh, Chinese uh, Blue Creek. That looks like some of these. Some of these look like Jaspers.
I want them all. You want them all? <laughs> yeah. I really like the first one you picked up. This, this is just beautiful. The honeycomb pattern, the staining of the yellow, the different types of shades of blue you see in there. That is awesome. So I'll take that one. Sweet. I would take that one, but I, I'm actually gonna wear that one. I'll make it. This is yeah. a little, little, little too, too big. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah oh, I think you could so. Totally pull it off. I probably no. I'm gonna make like a nausea, and it'll probably be I pushing it on there. But uh, these are really exciting. I'm so happy that you guys have those. You said three collections. I, I, yeah. I, I personally, per the gem shop purchased three collections. This came from one of them. Um, this was a collection I bought uh, in December, and it was something that had to we had to pick up pretty quickly. And so I moved some of it down here right away. It was, did you get any for yourself, like private collection stuff? Um, out of that collection, I got one piece. Okay, at least you got one. one. It must thing. be killer if you, if you picked you it up. It? Yeah, it oh my God, yeah. It wasn't turquoise though, it's something completely Oh, different. that's fine, I do want to see it. I'm gonna put this over here on your desk. Do, do you check out here or do you check out up there? I'll just leave it right here. Oh, exciting. Stone like this before, and so its uniqueness and its identification was incredible to me. This is called a galaxy stone, boom, and it has some form of rutile for sure. And it has some opal in it because it has this sheen. I don't know if you can see the oh. when I turn it, uh, I don't know but it's just it, the incredible rutile crystals. Oh, the sheen at the tip, yeah. Do you see that kind of color variation there? to get it. Where do you folks think it's from? Ontario, Canada. Wow. You would think Brazil. That is explosive. I'm so happy that you're keeping it. Yeah. You deserve it. I've never it. seen one before, so I had, I had to. Really okay, wonderful. that's pretty nice. You don't have any more of that material? That you know. <laughs> <laughs> the very only one I've ever seen in my whole life. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. That is yeah. killer. Yeah, it is. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you.